Hey, babe. I can't seem to find... Hey, hey, are you okay? Why the long face? Now, my love, don't lie to me. Yes, I can tell that you're lying to me. You never have been good at hiding your emotions and feelings from me. <laughs> yes, you are terrible at hiding it from me, so come on. What's really up? Or do I need to tickle the information out of you? Well, okay. There wasn't a need to lash out at me like that for suggesting tickling. <sighs> okay, that's it. I've had it. I want... No, actually, I need a check-in with you. Why? Babe, I'm worried about you, that's why. I'm worried because I love you. Is that not enough of a reason? You keep telling me that you're fine. Then why don't I believe it? Please, just talk to me. What's going on inside that head of yours? Let me help you, as you have helped me so often. <sighs> Babe, why didn't you come to me with this? Why didn't you tell me when I asked you for a check-in yesterday? You truly are a silly, stubborn, yet absolutely lovable doll. Of course I noticed the signs of you going into dome prop. How could I not? I'm just upset that you didn't come to me like we agreed upon. Ah, I can guess as to why you didn't this time. No, babe. I don't see you as just some dispenser of kinks. Now, I'm going to say this only once, so listen very carefully to me. Don't you dare feel guilty or ashamed for what we did. I'm fine. I'm in one piece. Sure, my R's is still a little red, but... That's nothing that can't be cured with a cool shower. <laughs> well, I was there all but begging you to do what you did to me and more, so... Yes, I think it's safe to say that I enjoyed it immensely. No, you aren't getting rid of me that easily. <laughs> Can I get a hug now? Thank you, baby. By the way, you're still clinging to me like a koala. I'd say you really needed this hug, huh? Okay, let's go snuggle on the couch. But let me stop into the kitchen the way through, because I think this snuggle session will require snacks and drinks. Okay, snacks and drinks acquired. Of course, we can have Family Guy going on as a background noise. You know I love that show just as much as you do. And besides, tonight is all about you. So suck it up. You're getting all of my attention, the cuddles, kisses, headstrokes, TV, and or movie choices for tonight.
Well, okay, clearly I'm lying on the couch and I'm getting a U-shaped weight blanket and that's okay. I like it. What was that, babe? I can't hear you when you're mumbling into my chest like that. No, absolutely not. You are not a bad person for enjoying what we did. We are both consenting adults in this. I had my outs with my safe words and when you checked in on me, but I never took them because I enjoyed what we were doing. Hush now. Whoever told you that don't shouldn't act like you are after a scene are deranged? You are a human, you have thoughts and feelings that are all valid. You are allowed to feel those things. Plus, all your endorphins and adrenaline are coming back down to normal levels because they were heightened during our scene. Which is why I bought your favorite snacks, drinks, and cuddles. No, I don't see you as less of a dome for requiring or even asking for aftercare. You are as entitled to it as I am. And besides, it's my honor and privilege to provide it to you. Well, silly, how do you expect to be able to take care of me and do the things we do if you aren't okay? It's okay to ask for things for yourself. You don't need to prioritize your wants and needs below that of mine. You are just as worthy to have your needs met. Look, as I just said, you are entitled to your feelings. They are valid. You are valid for having them. But just know that I will be here every step of the way to reassure you that I enjoyed what we did and that I am okay. I am safe. That there is nothing to feel guilty about which I know is easier said than done. You're welcome, Daddy.